Now let's look at the third one, net assets. I'm not going to talk about this much, uh, but the net assets of the subsidiary must be brought and then any adjustments required must be made in the financial statements, okay? So the only thing that I would say here is that the net asset of the subsidiary must be determined taking into consideration the necessary adjustments. What does that mean? It means that it will require the application of accounting standards as well as the post acquisition period. This may require the application of IFRSs as well as the post acquisition period. That's all I will say about the net assets. Because if you are not careful about your accounting standards, then you're going to screw that up. Then you're going to screw it up. Then you have to also be mindful about the post-acquisition period. That will also help you in the determination of the net assets. So that is all I will say about the net assets. And that brings me to the end of the discussion on goodwill calculation.